Good morning, Katanning. A little story time for you today. Almost a week ago, uh, I was uh, working with my beehives. And I'm not sure what happened, but they just attacked me. I got like 20 stings in my hands and on my legs, and I had uh, basically I had venom poisoning, and it felt like I had food poisoning. I was out of commission for a day, had to have medication, all kinds of stuff. But there was a mistake in my beehives. Um, I always assumed that it was my fault that they stung me because bees, honeybees especially, aren't super aggressive. So I'm not sure what exactly happened. Uh, but today I have to get in there and correct the mistake. So I'm going to show you what I did wrong. And uh, hopefully it'll teach one of you uh, not to do this thing. And uh, it'll be lesson learned for me, lesson learned for you, and we all can all be a little more safe around bees. So I uh, got a little more equipment this time. Hopefully the bees will not be able to sting me. And uh, yeah, it'll be entertaining, hopefully, at the very least. Okay, should be pretty much bee proof at this point. Pretty much have all the proper tools now too. So I got a smoker, um, got proper uh, hive brush. I had a hive tool before, but I have a, just a couple more things that will hopefully help me be a little more effective in my beekeeping. Okay, so let me show you what's going on in there. So this is my major mistake here. I left a frame out of the original uh, box and now I have to remove. All of that comb has to come out. Uh, it looks like they've filled it with pollen already. I'm really, really big mistake because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of work there, there that they're not gonna be able to, uh, that not, it's not gonna be able to be saved, unfortunately. Just wasted a lot of bee time. But that's part of it. Just a learning mistake, and we'll we'll get it fixed and get it addressed today. So yeah, I cannot even stress how big of a mistake that was uh, to leave those in there because they there was honey in there. Uh, there was a lot of uh, brood in there, so uh, they have a lot of catching up to do now, unfortunately. But um, you know, it's a rookie mistake. I won't do it again. And uh, yeah, you just got to live and learn. But hopefully these bees will recover from my mistake, and uh, yeah, I got to do the other one still too. There's an empty, empty one in here too that I have to fix. So uh, I may do an experiment if there's a lot of brood in there. I may try to try to save it, let that brood hatch, um, let them hopefully fill it with honey. Uh, maybe put a queen excluder in. Um, but uh, but yeah, I got to do this one too. Okay, I'm making a decision on this one. I'm not gonna take all this out of here. Even though I know it needs to get out of here eventually. This is all filled with brood. Both of these uh, little frames that they made are completely full of brood. Uh, this one, well, maybe this side's only three quarters. But out of all the brood in this whole box, that's about probably 75% of all the brood in there, so. I just, uh, I can't bring myself to kill all those bees. Um, I'm really gonna weaken that hive even more. Um, I'm just gonna roll with it, see what happens. It might, might be a long-term mistake, but uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. So I'm gonna put that back in there. Hopefully over the summertime, it'll become honey and I'll be able to get it out of there later. Um, this one wasn't too bad, like they didn't build it into other things, which is, which is good. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. There's only one way to find out. It's gonna be an experiment, but uh, yeah, pretty upset with myself. 
Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna contact a couple of my beekeeper friends and see if uh, I made the right decision there. Uh, time will time will be the ultimate tell, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to work. That's some early morning beekeeping for you. I uh, really had to get that done. Uh, but if you're gonna get into beekeeping, please just buy some proper equipment. You know, get yourself a at least a half bee suit like I had there with some gloves. Uh, get yourself a smoker. And uh, yeah, don't do what I did. Uh, don't end up with a prescription for steroids so that you uh, so that you don't have to uh, suffer with bee poisoning or a venom poisoning like I did. Uh, so yeah, just uh, get the right stuff. Spend the extra 40 bucks. I'll put the links in the description for the stuff I got. Spend the extra 40 bucks and uh, yeah, get yourself some decent stuff. That's it for today. It's going to be a stunning day in the greatest city in the world, as you can tell. Uh, sunny and beautiful and bright. And so uh, I pray you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Good morning chickens. I did put the bee larva and the honey over here and they are uh, tearing that up. So at least it's not going to be a total waste. Chickens do love bugs after all. Still sad that bees wasted all that work but you know, at least it's not going to a complete waste. The chickens are getting a little meal out of it. So it's actually a couple weeks since I filmed that. Uh, the video just felt incomplete. I had some people ask me, you know, why didn't you film when you were getting stung? That would have been, that would have been just, just really, uh, really fun to watch. And uh, you know, I'm sure it would have. But uh, you know, I decided to do the next best thing, uh, have a little uh, reenactment, so you can see what it was like for me on that day uh, when all the bees attacked me. So, uh, yeah, just check it out. It's time to check the bees. That's just how I remembered it. Yeah, it's just that's how that's what happened for sure. Yeah, that one that one's going in the old uh, home movie stack. Back to the video. Joey, can you bow? Do you know how to do that? Like this. Great yes! job, girls. <laughs> Are you recovering from the bee attack? Yes. Yeah, do you feel better? Yes. Yeah, not as bad as when daddy got stung, huh? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no children were harmed in the making of this video.